Ironhide, welcome back to another episode of Sakura Sakibis. For now, <laughs> if you remember the last episode, I was flustered as hell. Now I just took a break. So I'm chilled, mellowed out, so I'm perfectly fine. Let's continue. Are you okay here for me? Oh. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm fine. I'm just um trying to compose myself. <laughs> I like being called Big Sister by Cosmos and AU. Though AU rarely plays along, the naughty gal, but being called it by you is quite peculiar. In a bad way? No, in a good way. I fear it might be too good, in fact. I'm all tingly now. <laughs> oh God. Perhaps you ought to stick to calling me for, for me after all. Girl. Girl. Do you know how much you just put me through? Just then? Last episode? Alright. Now. Do you want to sample some of my miso soup? I think it's almost ready. It be my pleasure. For me, ladies, a bit of miso soup onto a spoon, then holds it on to me. I slurp the soup ablingingly and let its flavor spread across my tongue. It's every bit of delicious, if not more, as the miso soup Fumi made when we were staying at the Roikian. It's rich, but not too rich. And the consistency is perfect. I can get addicted to this. D oh, no shit. Do you like it? Does it, perchance, need more seasoning? Nah, it's just right. That is a relief. Thank you for being my guinea pig, my dear Hideki. <laughs> it's no prob, so... I glance around the kitchen. Are we the only ones here? I saw Hazel earlier when I came downstairs. She said she was heading out for a jog. I th think the others are still asleep, though. They should come down soon. Hifumi and I chattered together companionably while she tends to the rest of the cooking. Hazel comes back for from the jog, damped with sweat at point during our conversation. She greets us both brightly then heads up to her bedroom for a shower. She's all but runs up to stairs and then slams her bedroom door behind her, which roses <laughs> the rest of the succubi. They trail into the kitchen one by one, first Marina, then AU, then the freshly showered Hazel. Cosmos is the last one to turn up, but she isn't in her casual clothes like the rest. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? She's already changed into her swimsuit. It's rather cute, ugly, skimpy, and it's complete with a pair of cat ears. And I'm, a, I'm, I'm. You're lying. You're lying. I wonder if that'll get in the way of her swimming. I do have. I don't have. Oh, sorry. I don't have much of a chance to ponder this. However, before Cosmos is soon to come upon me, both arms link through me through mine oh my sweet baby jesus christ oh my sweet baby jesus christ <laughs> frame For frame oh fuck the heat is literally on and i'm not in the best fucking Oh my god, girl. Oh my god. Oh. Cosmos, if, I swear to god, if this was the fucking bathing suit you were telling me about the other day, you have <laughs> officially made me the most flustered 
besides Hifumi. Girl, oh my god. <laughs> Why? <gasps> Calm down. <sighs> okay. Hideki, Hideki, what do you think of my swimsuit? Isn't it cute? I picked it out just for you. I can tell. It's so fucking adorable. It really is. Yeah, it's uh, very adorable. I like all the ruffles. <laughs> I knew you would. You are a man of discerned tastes. Discerning tastes, excuse me. Cosmo puffs out her chest proudly. The bathing suit is styled after a maid maid's uniform. I've got a collar and a ribbon with cute little cuffs and the bottom parts supposedly to look like an apron. I, I just, I just, I just peeked that. I, I can't zoom on that, but I just peeked that. Oh, sweet Jesus Christ. <laughs> They don't have stuff like this in normal stores, so I had to order it from a specialty place online. I think it looks super cute. You would say that, eh, you? I love you, boo-boo, but don't, don't say a word. I'm already flustered. Eh, you scoffs. Personally, I think it looks gaudy, but it, and it doesn't fit properly. It's too small for you. That criticism seems a bit rich coming from you. I've seen her in a swimsuit before. I was about to say, because that skimpy gold thing she wore was rather form-fitting. Comparatively, I think Cosmos Suedo made swimsuit fits better. But catch me trying to antagonize AU. It's too early in the morning for that. What's with the ears and tail anyway? How did they fit the maid theme? They fit because I'm a cat maid. Duh. Cosmo giggles and then curls her hair into an imitation's paws. May I take your order? Mr. <laughs> Stop this shit. Stop this shit. I'm gonna. <laughs> You pulls a face. That's so tacky. Cut it out. You're putting me off my breakfast. You shouldn't even be in your swimsuit right now. We're not on the beach yet. I know, but I wanted to show Hideki my swimsuit so much I couldn't wait. I had to put it on right now. I wanted my master to compliment me and call me cute and give me lots of head pats. Oh my god, I swear. Uh, editor. It, the amount of times she calls me Meowster, give her, give her at least five fucking head pads. Cause I swear to God, she is playing games right now. Please fucking do. Meow meow. You're the meowst adorable kitty maid ever, Cosmos. I ruffled the top of Cosmos' head, which makes her purr and delight. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Fuck, fuck me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I need the AC on. Fuck this shit. Holy fuck. Ayu, meanwhile, scowls. Don't encourage her, please. You're both acting like morons. You mean, I'm going to kick you in your fucking neck. You're not helping. Ugh. You turns her back on me, then resumes eating her breakfast. She stabs her fried mackerel with her chopsticks. With a bit too much strength, her shoulders stiff. You just wait, stupid Hideki. I look much, much cuter in my swimsuit than Cosmos does. And I'm not half the try hard she is. You'll eat m your words when you see me. Really? I look forward to it. That's what I'm saying as well. I gently shake Cosmos off of my arm and then begin to eat my own breakfast. As I do, I glance about the succubi assembled around 
the dining table. I've already seen Cosmos in their bikini, but I think AU will probably wear the gold one she did in her photo shoot. And I've yet, but I've yet to see Marina, Fumi, and Hazel in their beach wear. I wonder what swimsuits they picked out. That's actually a good question, because I don't, because I don't think she changed any of her stuff, which I would be surprised if she did. But we'll see. Hifumi will probably go with something traditional. Marina will be in something expensive and elegant, and Hazel tend to prefer sporty, practical clothes. Simply spectating about it is fun. I can't wait until we hit the beach. Well, I'll stand corrected. You was right about the sporty part. God damn. Yay, it's the beach. The ocean's so big and white and pretty. Woo! Yeah, and so I knew you would dress in the same fucking one that you wore in your photo shoot. Hey, you, come on. So what? You already know it's the beach, dumbass. You don't have to spell it out. We all have eyes and ears, too. Didn't you go through your rigmarole <laughs> yesterday, anyway? <laughs> My bad. Sorry if I'm being annoying, but I can't help it. Your beach is really does look amazing. I can't wait to go and take a dip. It's gonna be so much fun. I don't know how you get so much energy. Weren't you up at the crack of dawn so you could go jogging? That's right, there's no better way to get your blood pumping, eh? <laughs> I think your blood pumps a bit too much. And none of it goes to the brain. It all goes redirect to your pointless muscles of yours. AU pokes Hazel's exposed stomach, which prompts from her a series of giggles. Hazel's swimsuit is a two-piece. Is bright striking blue, of course, which is sporty, which is fair. It favors practically almost over aesthetic appeal and covers quite a bit of skin. The cutout of the top is not notwithstanding. All in all, the swimsuit is very hazel. <laughs> That's something almost tomboyish about it, which is very true. I actually do like that particular bathing suit. She actually did really well with it. Hey, you, you really need to actually just figure out a way to realize that that just doesn't work. I keep telling you that. Hey, you, meanwhile, wears the same golden swimsuit she done during the photo shoot all those months ago. It's every bit of tight, glit, glitzy, and impractical as I remember. It clings to her every curve so intimately. I can't help but wonder whether it'll cut off her blood circulation of her limbs. No shit. It doesn't seem to be hamper all that much at the present, at least. What's with your stomach anyway? It's so hard. And you continues to prod Hazel's exposed lum. Uh, lum. <laughs> God damn it. And you continues to prod Hazel's exposed abs while Hazel giggles and bats her away. Cut that out, it tickles. How can I help it? When you have so much skin on display, you're so shameless. Well, I am. I am a succubus. It comes with territory. Hazel grins. I don't see any reason to be embarrassed about my body. I've worked pretty darn hard on it. But even then, my clothes aren't half as skippy as Marina's. What do you mean? Oh. Ma. Boo boo. Boo boo. I knew she was going to go for the expensive attire and Hideki already called it, but damn, she still looks fucking scrumptious. Holy shit. Oh, oh my God, bro. Oh shit. True to Hazel's world, Marina is wearing a very interesting swimsuit. Well, technically in one piece, if it's a one-piece or a two-piece, this girl looks absolutely fucking gorgeous. If anything, she fucking wears. I wonder what Hafumi might actually wear. That's gonna be 
one of the few ones that I might actually be curious about. Um, it has so many cuts out and might as well be wearing a bikini. An awful lot of Marina's skin is on display, not that I'm complaining, neither am I. Um, the swimsuit suits her perfectly. It's black, which contrasts with her bone white hair and the golden ornament which hangs from it accentuate her, it her dark skin. Excuse me. It doesn't look very practical. I'm not sure you could go very much swimming Dom Dali up like that, but Marina's clothes are so often practical business suits. It makes for a nice change of pace. My, my, are you admiring me, Hideki? Marina catches an eye, catches my eye and smiles, her green eyes glittering with a devilish amusement. Do you like what you see? N of course he does. He's a simple-minded man. He sees half a boob and can't control himself. You're appealing to the lowest common denominator, and you aren't little AU with your getup? Please, don't try to take a more high ground with me. You're in more brazen than I. Ha! Says you. AU snorts. I know you. Uh, I know why you're dressed in a ridiculous attire. It's because you're a desperate old lady. The only way you could ever hope to ensnare Hedeki's heart is with your saggy body to show it all off. What was that? Marina's expression darkens. She takes a step forward and cracks her knuckles, which makes a you retreat. Retreat? Ugh, fuck me. Are my ears deceiving me? I am so old, after all. They did not seem to work as they should. Or did you call me shaggy? Or saggy? <laughs> God damn it. I did that shit out. What? what? No, I, I never said anything. But you did. I heard you. We all did, didn't we, Hazel? Well, I don't want to get AU in trouble. I know how scary Marina can be, but she did kind of bring this upon herself. Hazel smiles awkwardly, hands linked into her front, and says, Sorry, AU, but you're on your own there. I ain't coming on your defense. You dug your own grave, and you're gonna lie in it. Is it possible to dig a grave on this beach? Wouldn't it be filled with sand again? Well, yeah, but I ain't talking about a real grave here. So, Marina isn't really going to murder AU. I wouldn't be too sure of that. She looks pretty pissed. AU. Marina is standing face to face with AU, her nose almost bumping. She seizes AU's shoulder, her muscuring nails digging into AU's exposed skin and leans in. If Marina's expression wasn't so foreboded, um, they look almost uh, like a pair of lovers. Unfortunately for AU, there's nothing lovely to be about the aura Marina is excluding. Murderous would probably be the best way to describe her intent. Boy, am I glad I'm not the one coming under the line of her line of fire. Marina is a good five inch taller than AU, which quells in, who quells in her shadow, looking very contrite. Are there tears spinning in her eyes? Yes, Marina. What is it, my dear big sister? Um, does something occur to upset you? Please, Marina sighs. Don't play dumb with me. You should be only too aware of what you've done wrong. Your thoughtless words have caused me a grave insult. I cannot abide the demeaning. Not in the least by a little whip like you who does not know her place. You ought to respect your elders and better, Missy. How many times have I repeated this to you before you, you will listen? Marina pointed nails deeper dig deeper into her skin, which makes her squeal. Eek. You are extremely hard-headed to such a degree it's almost impressive. Though I praised you last night, I am now beginning to fear you are incapable to reform. Not on your own, at least. For your own as you, you're kind, caring, benevolent. With each adjective, Marina gives her shoulder a squeeze. 
Big sister, I hate you seeing me walking the wrong path. I want you to become a sweet, well-mannered young lady who will not cause herself any embarrassment. In the future, your poisonous tongue may offend somebody more than important than I, and I shall not be there to help you. And such, I must punish you. There's only one way you'll learn. What? No, please. Don't hurt me. This isn't fair. It's my private beach, you know. You washed up old hag. I should be allowed to say whatever I want. It's not my fault I'm, I'm cuter and younger than you. Don't take your jealousy out on me. Hey, let go of my arms. Stop it. It hurts. Don't. No. I... <laughs> um... We're gonna direct you uh, to an encore rock, the pack duck behind it, and soon from Oscar view, with AU's plaintive cries drift uh, along the beach behind her. Now, I wonder what Marina is doing to her. It's probably best not to think about it. Well, gee, that was something. You don't say! That took a quick turn of events. I feel kind of bad for AU, but, uh, I guess I'm glad that ain't me for once. Do you think Marina finally forgiven me? I believe so. Marina can be intense, shall we say, and she holds grudges, but she's not unreasonable. I don't think she has any issues with you at the present, Hazel. And before we go, Hufumi, that is adorable, boo-boo. That's probably the most classical attire I have ever been impressed with. <laughs> That's actually very, very cute. I actually like that. That's really good. I like pretty much every single girl um, bikini so far. But Cosmos just just hit the fucking wire. Just, 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 she fucking hits it. And that's where we're going to end it here. Because I, I need to go to bed before I actually literally foam out the mouth. Because I'm not going to hold you. I'm about to literally go full red in about a minute. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. <sighs> it's been that, guys. Later.